And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Jewel. Just Jewel. With more new knives than you can fathom from brands like Kaiser, MKM, Buck, Fox, and Bag Knives. Bag em. It's a different kind of week this week, mm. as this time we've included knives we normally wouldn't. Really? I know. Because oh, wow. they're against our personal preferences. Well, it's how to be good then. Yep. If you want to know what they are, you have to watch. With that, we'll begin with the Fox. Felina. This is not dagger. One this one we would have included. No, this isn't there. So this fixed carry was inspired by a ceremonial dagger used by Italian special forces. <laughs> this guy is 11.81 inch overall with a 6.73 inch bowler N690 stainless blade, which is combo dual edge. For those not in the knife way, that means there's some area with a plain edge and some area with serrations. Yep. So this blade is 0 0.24 inches thick and has a black top shield finish. Lastly, the handle on this bad boy is black aluminum and has a lanyard hole. Right on. Comes with an official <laughs> vegetable tanned leather in Tuscany black belt sheath. Yeah, I know. That right there. And a mini certificate oh. that attests Hold to on. the fact. I have to get the, I know this is going to take a little more time, but I have to show you the little certificate. Where is he at? <gasps> there he is! The yeah. box has oh. even got the name inside. Top notch. You want to show, wait, show, them, show them the top again? Cause, I did. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Give it to them. Dagger was made in Italy as well. Weighs just 7.87 ounces. And one can have a Valero of their very own for only. I thought it was Valeno. Valeno? What did I say? Valero. Valero. It's Valeno. Is I'm it? Sorry. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure. I thought Valeno. I was pronouncing it it's wrong. It's Valeno. Alright, so you can have it for 30905. From AlanaKnife.com. Where else? Alright. Land on them, see what you think. Oh, wow. This is the first time I've had the I handle in my hand. You can smell Tuscany. <laughs> you can smell Tuscany? Yep. Are you saying you're drunk already? Yep. Yeah. I, it's the sheath, not the blade. Too bad when people think of Tuscany, a lot of them are like, oh, Olive Garden. Oh, All right. So, here's where I'm at. I think this is one of the nicest daggers I have ever seen. I, I know that it's up there in price, statement. but you can see every little pristine detail shining nicely in the serrations mm -hmm. and all the way around the edge. Perfect grind all the way around. Wow. Yeah. This is nice. Wow. This is some work. I give them that. Yeah. All right, so what do you, uh... So, I don't know. I'm a little conflicted when it comes to this dagger. I mean, I really like how nice Fox makes their blades. They're always impeccable, especially in terms of quality and design. I'm not a huge fan of the combo edge, mm. the partial serrations. I understand the need for them, and I, I just personally don't have a huge need for serrations, especially on a dagger. It, now, don't, now don't get me wrong, I do like this, okay? And anything dual-edged, I come running. Mm -hmm. However, I also liked the Spartan Blades George Raider dagger. Granted, it had SK-5 steel, a black plastic handle, black plastic sheath. I mean, it wasn't vegetable tanned leather mm. in Italy. But it was made in the USA and was designed by Les George. It too had dual edge and it was only $104.84 mm. at alandknife.com. That's all I'm going to say. I think it depends on what kind of collection you have. If you have a high-end collection, this one goes better, I think, than like a Applegate Fairbank. Obviously, but... Well, that's supposed to be in the price range. Or even a case. But like if you're going to uh, use it... B42 would be almost $3,400. That's true. That's so true. So I would go with that one. But now if you're just a regular guy who wants a nice dagger, then maybe the... The Raider. Yeah, I like it. We sell a lot of them. So. I like the Raider. But big price difference. It's nice. All right. Exactly. All Next... Right. Another surprise. The Kaiser Aggressor. Spoken yep. appropriately. So this knife folder comes in two options right now. Micarta and Rich Light. Mm -hmm. We have the Rich Light one. Anyways, 
This knife is 7.4 inch overall with a 2.99 inch drop point, wait for it, CPM 3VB. <laughs> Plain edge, 0.12 thickness, black stone wash finish, and jimping on this option. Jimping. Handle scales and back spacer slash lanyard hole are all made out of the purple rich light. The liners have a black stone wash finish, same as the blade. This carry also comes with a tip up black finish pocket clip. Yep. Now for the best part, Jewel. So the other option is the same size, but it has a 154 cm satin finish blade. Carter scales. Liners and pocket clip on that option are the same as the blade finish. So designed by Assassin Eye, this blade is deployed with a jimped front flipper. Mm. Weighs only 3.67 ounces. You can find them at AtlanticKnife.com, starting at only 69 buckaroos. Can I interrupt? Go ahead. We think this is a mistake. We think it's supposed to be higher. We're not sure. On the rich light. We are going to sell it for $69 until we're told we not to sell it for $69. So, my suggestion is get it now. Yeah. Okay, so aside from that, I think Kaiser did a very nice job with this guy. I would have preferred a little more jimping down the spine for extra control and just a just a, a just a touch more handle contouring. But for $69, limited time, and 3V <laughs> steel, you won't regret it. I mean, you should buy it at AK. It's yep. an excellent deal. What do you think? I think for a limited time is the best way to limited put it. Limited time. I think if it makes it through all that we have, this time I'll be surprised. Yeah. And it won't make it next time. Probably not. But 3V now, we're Rich going light. we're going up here in steel yeah. and we're not now that we're liking Kaiser. We are. All yeah. right. We're digging on Kaiser. Getting the next one. All right. So we have the latest Buck Deploy Pro Auto. Just trying to remember which one's locked. That one's locked. Up's not. Is that it? Right? No. There, there we go. go. Down is unlocked. Okay. Oh, down's unlocked. So the Buck Up's Deploy locked. Pro Auto is on the table. Now we received the Mini Deploy. We reviewed mm -hmm. it about two or three months ago and we loved it. We just thought a little bigger would be better. And if you want to check that video out, link is in the corner, one of these, and also in the description. So then Buck released a bigger version around the same time, but we weren't able to keep any in stock for the video. Sold them all. Yeah. So now that we released a new version of both this one and the Mini, it seemed like the perfect time to have it on the show. So the Buck Deploy comes in three options, while the Mini Deploy also comes in three. We have the All Blackout Pro. Can't beat that. Yeah. So this automatic carry is 8.25 inch when fully deployed and features a 3.25 inch S35VN steel drop point blade. Black Cerakote finish, nice finish, black grind, and the Boss heat treatment. Mm -hmm. We all know and love it. The blade is 0 0.12 inches thick. Hold on. There we go. And it's open with the black push button after sliding the safety lock down, of course. So there it is, locked. Unlocked. Yay! Okay, handle scales are black Cerakoted aluminum over liners, and it features a tip-up, reversible, and removable pocket clip. There you go. Made in the USA, the Buck Deploy Pro Auto comes with a pouch and a box. Deploy the Buck Deploy Pro at a moment's notice for just $219.99 at LendingKnife.com. Yep. Alrighty. Always hand it to him locked. Ah. Uh, Love it. I like this knife. I mean, 200 bucks what autos are nowadays. Yep, so that's true. That is where we're at. And Buck did to do the uh, the S35 VN steel. So that's yep, nice. at least they didn't do some kind of junk. So I'm good with that also. I like the styling of it. You know, the safety. I guess they felt like they should do that. I'm not I a big. I would say it was a good call. I'm on not this a big one. safety guy. I am. I feel like if this were in the pocket without the lock, it would. Really. Yeah, it's just a little too close call for being in the pocket. Just, eh, I feel See, like I don't it like safeties it. because I don't think you should have to take them off before you use it. It, it defeats the purpose of a fast use. It's so, still a fast use. If it's loaded, it's loaded, you know? Well, you don't have to lock it, I guess. You can leave it unlocked if that you want. That is true. You could always just leave it unlocked. Exactly. I like that plan. Ex okay. Sounds so good I to me. do like this version. I like, I think it's very snazzy in look. Seamless opening, 
I'm being a little nitpicky today. Just a little more handle texturing, I feel like. Because this is an auto, it would just make me feel more comfortable to have a little more grippiness. That's just me. Other than that, excellent work, Buck. Yep. Great. All right, next up, we have the new MKM Roots Knife, along with the awesome new Kaiser Folders. Yeah. Coming up next. Mm -hmm. But first. Big surprise. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as well as ring the bell. We'd love to hear from you and you keep the show growing. Your support allows us to do things like extra content, host events, and collaborate with other brands on giveaways. There it is. Speaking of giveaways, we're prepared this week. Yep. The great Donzo giveaway is coming to an end today. I feel like you take off your hat. And... So the winners of the Genzo FH924 and Outdoor Knife are none other then, Jeffrey Caswell, C-A-S-W-E-L-L, -L, okay. which you now put on the screen anyways, yeah, I didn't, I didn't need to spell it, it. and Frederick Bream. Hmm. Make nice. sure to email sales at Alag Night to claim your winnings. Da, 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 I thought you were going to do da 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 Thanks to everyone who commented, shared, became an AK member, and followed Ganzo at Ganzo Knife on Instagram. Can't beat that. We, and I'm sure I can speak for Ganzo when I say, greatly appreciate you taking part in this giveaway. Yes. Yep. They are greatly appreciative. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll be starting another giveaway next week. We don't want to ruin the surprise. So we'll just say one thing. <laughs> discontinued we. That kind of ruins the surprise. Does it? it? There's lots of discontinued Wii's. That is the so. truth, isn't it? There yeah, are so a intrigue. lot of discontinued Which one Wii's. could it be? Ooh. We also want to thank you guys for answering the AK trivia question. A lot of people answered and got it right. I was a little surprised. I mean, there were lots of you guys getting it right. But a special congrats to you, Chris Stice. The answer was, in fact, the Spyderco C01 worker. With that, we're back to the table. So the newest MKM Roots options have just come out. Now we don't really care for slip joints, but I have to say these are snazzy little carries. Now there are now nine total options. Newest ones being the natural olive wood and the natural Santos wood. All right, we have the Santos wood option to show you guys today. It's 6.54 inch when fully opened and shows off a Bowler M390 2.8 inch blade. Satin finish, plain edge, and 0.1 of thickness. Blade is open manually and handle scales are Santos wood. Yeah. So liners are stainless. There's also a full backspacer slash combo lanyard hole and blue pivot kit cap accents on All both right, sides. That's nice. This slip joint designed by Jen Zanzo comes with a leather magnetic sheath, both of which were made in Italy. Get some roots starting at just $99.99 hmm. from AtlanticKnife.com. So, let's see if my pocket... Just give me a second here. And there goes the Gen Enzo knife. Alright, so I have to say, if this wasn't a slip joint, it would be very, very high on my list. The wood looks super awesome on this knife. Different than the other wood scales I've seen, like from Kaiser, and I think one other company did some uh, Deca, I think. I think it was. can't hmm. remember exactly. And... I've never really seen a blade shape quite like this. MKM does do this little three hole thing, which I've only seen one other place, I think on a bag knife once maybe. I just think it's something interesting. Again, needs a little more jimping on the crown spine. Just feel like a knife isn't quite the perfect knife without jimping. But other than that, it's great. What do you think, C? I think the three holes belongs to a small company. I can't remember the name of it. But they did a knife with saying? a collaboration with somebody. What are you saying? And the three holes was their design. I can't remember what it was. Maybe Jen's Ainso collaborated Could've with been. it. And Could've he's been. the three holes. All right, so here's where I'm at. You kind of look like a... Uh, I think they help you open it, too. A nerdy engineer. <laughs> you have a pocket I'll protector. take it. But you take know it. what? For 99 bucks, this is a nice knife for that price. Um, yeah, well like you said, Flash I'm not a slip joint fan, but I do hear it locking up there in a half yes. stop and pretty tight so I would be okay with using that and I say I'm not a slip joint fan I got about 80 case knives so yeah, you know, they true. aren't they're slip joints obviously that's obvious all right so I'd have one I mean you know 
it would be low on my list of getting well, out of today. Well, well, well. I, I, I love I love the sheets. I have a problem with leather sheets. I'm just I like them too. Go ahead. Up next, Kaiser Bugai. Available in two options. Yep. Black micarta and green. Yay. She got the green one. Here it is. So the option we have is 7.28 inches overall with green micarta scales, liner hole, barrel spacers, stainless liners, and a stone wash tip up reversible removable pocket clip. Wow. I know. All that sounds good. It is. So the 3.11 inch 154cm stone wash blade has flat grind, plain edge, jim bang. 0.12 thickness and is opened with the thumb hole yeah. just like she did. The other option has 311 also, right? Mm -hmm. 3V. Black stone wash blade mm -hmm. along with black micarta handle scales, black finish liners, and hardware. Designed by Dennis and Tom and Tim. <laughs> I knew I was going to do it. This. It's okay. And Tominoff. And Timonoff. Timonoff. And Timonoff. The Kaiser Bugai liner lock weighs just 3.6 ounce and starts at just $69. Yeah, no, Lanningknife.com. I'm stealing on this one this time. I mean, hey, it's still a steal. It flies on me. $154 San Francisco $9. All right, go ahead. All Let's right, here's first. where I'm at. Seems like they're doing a thing here. One from one in Fin 154CM and then another in 3V. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like this. I'm not a big fan of the thumb hole opening. It's harder for me to do. It's better than the front flipper. It is better than the front flipper. I'll but this knife it. does have appropriate jimping. A very, very nice um, knife blade profile. I like the shape of it. I like the cut there on the end. I mean, you know what? Slice of hair. It's pretty nice. He had a little flipper tab there. Mm. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up with my own flipper tab kit. Yeah, where you can just put one on any yep, knife. You ain't got one. Here it is. You know what? I fix this. That's, that's true. Okay, yeah. I would like that. I would totally buy that. So another great addition to the budget blades Kaiser has to offer. Very interesting blade ship. I believe they said it was like a fusion of a drop point and a tanto. Hmm. I don't see that, but it's sharp and it's 154 cm for a reasonable price. So yeah, AK it up all either, the way. But yeah. that's fine. So. Moving on to, wow, well, I'm sorry, my dog's hair's everywhere. Okay, moving on to the Beg Knives Diamisi. That's the following blade, guys. The bird, you see that? Mm -hmm. Solid. It's blade. only available in two options right now, black and black green, which I got to get that black green one out and take a look at it. Yep. We have the black option. So it's landed like a seven inch overall and shows off a stainless handle with a black G10 inlay. Blade is open with a gent flipper stud, yes. operating on ceramic ball bearings and disengaged with the infamous liner lock. D2 clip point blade is three inches long. I just had to flip it again. That's all right. With satin finish, flat grind, and plain edge. Carry also sports a tip up red carry pocket clip and blue pivot cap accents both mm -hmm. sides. So the other option simply has a uh, a one black and one green G10 inlay, I think, on both sides. So I think this one's black and this one's green. Mm -hmm. So grab the Beg Diamisi before it's too late for only $120 at AtlanticKnife.com. All right, I'm going to go first. All right. Get the negative out the way. A little too much for D2. Stainless and G10. That's all. Okay. So I do like the design and the blade just glides with the Thor tie, as C would say. It's just nice. Very flush inlays. And it's the only carry on the table with flipper tab this week, which gives it an edge over the rest. The price does bring it back down a few pegs. But honestly, I I like this knife. It's not my favorite bag, though. I'd probably go with the Astio or the Mini Glimpse. I think those are just more my speed. But Todd did a nice job with the handle ergonomics on this. I will give him that. They just fit perfectly. Thoughts on this folder, C? Well, my thoughts are two things. This is a tremendous amount of steel that you have here for mm -hmm. this knife to not really weigh. Too much, yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how you do that. It's not milled out in there, I don't think. It may be. I can't remember if it was milled. I can't really tell. It looks like there may be... Some minor milling? Yep, you know what? I can see the inlay in there. So that's how they did okay. it. It's basically just a frame. Okay, okay. so that makes sense then. Um, the... The word that's coming to mind is 
Reich. Reich, really? 1902. What? Now, it's not the size and it doesn't have the carbon fiber design and all that stuff. You just, how how well the, the inlays are mm -hmm. with the handle? And I'm okay. willing to bet that's who okay. made this, is Reich. Um, yeah, Todd designed it and they made it. I'm pretty sure of that. I'll take a flyer on it, but I would bet you a... Take a flyer on it. I'd bet you my hat. And that He'll hat's eat very his important hat. to me. He'll the backspacer is nicely done. I will say, I can't find anything up some acid, drink that it I now. do not like about this hat. After you neutralize it, of course. That's <laughs> kidding. Great. That's great. All right, about this knife. I like wow. the pivot cap. I like everything about it. The styling, the size. I mean, it's nice. Like you said, it is a little too much. But I do know that they will charge you for this level of perfection. For it to be milled this perfectly. Is, you're going to pay it for it. It is impeccable the way these liners, they, you can't even like feel that they're inlays. They're mm -hmm. just so part of the handle. And he's kind of like, um, I can't remember the dude's name, it might be Ken Onion, just a real stickler about, um, certain, yeah. about how it has to be just just perfectly just right yeah, he would rather he's be perfect. The, he's the porridge, okay? Yep. The last porridge. Oh, the little kid's porridge. Yep. Yeah. All right, so where are we at now? The Remember last on? knife, yep. All right, the last knife? The last knife. Oh, man. Yep. It's the Kaiser Original XL. Final what? blade for this week. Three different options available. I'm disappointed. It's having so much fun. Yeah, but this is a great knife. Green micarta, gunmetal aluminum, and titanium. We have the titanium one. Whoop, whoop. So it's 7.48 inch overall, 3.27 inch drop point, S35VN steel blade with stone wash finish and flat grind. One can be used with dual sided thumb studs or button lock for opening the blade. We go, there it is. Did you get it? Yep. The handle is full titanium along with a tip up titanium pocket clip. Yeah, there's just a little milling in there, but there's no liners. So it comes with stickers, pouch, cleaning cloth, and box. Starting at only, go ahead and see. Eighty-two dollars from ReliantKnife.com. Now type any ones more, of course. Yeah, obviously, that's understood. Just start. We know you know that. Wow, this thing is light. I know. I feel like that bag is now a rock. Like a rock. It's good. Wow, that's crazy. That's great. All right, watch my tight hands more expensive. Why does it feel like case. Yep, go ahead. Well, what do you think of this knife? Be uh, first. I gotta tell you. Kaiser has done a design similar to this before. Yeah, the original. They're just the a little cut, smaller. And this part was in the original? No, that was from a Wii, I believe. Was it a Wii? Yeah. All right. Well, so it was like blue and Oh, purplish. yes, I know what you're talking about. Okay, I got you. I'm not as big a fan of this as you are. Um, I wish that the scales were rounded at the top. To Why blend are you in. always on the rounded It looks at the boxy top. to me, and I don't like. I like boxy. Like a blade sticking out of a two pieces of metal. That, you know? it's, that's what it is, though. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Um, it does have some interesting markings on it. Original titanium XL written mm -hmm. on that. Nice. That's kind of nice. And only put the designer's name there. And uh, the number. We gotta find it's out what numbered. that actually means. I don't means. know. If, I don't know either. They're not very good um, at letting us know if they're limited or anything. I, actually, I kind of like the thumb stud button lock combination yeah i've normally well i can go both ways i've seen it both ways i've heard it both ways. i give it an a okay so i think kaiser is killing it this so week they far. are aren't they the button lock is so good on this you've gone too far my man the button lock is good on this and they even carried the texturing pattern over to the back pocket clip mm. i mean it's those little snazzy extra details that set you over the top. He gave it an A. I give it an A plus plus because it is just that nice. Wow. Yeah. I like it. All that, huh? I like it. All right. That's it. Final knife. Human Please make sure music. to support AK by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, as well as ringing the bell. Yep. That way you're hooked on with AK and get notified when new stuff drops. So we plan on getting back in gear with our five-minute reviews, as well as starting some knife shorts, though we have... I think almost 2,000 one-minute knife previews already. That's crazy. Thousands. We even got some thousands. old crispy days. Uh, that we do, where mm -hmm. he does some of them. So there's some interesting. Yeah, when we say thousands, she means thousands. Yeah. You can check them out in the corner. 
one of the corners. I think it's, I think it's this or in the one. description. As well as our YouTube channel's homepage. Yep, made a whole section just 12 for grand, you guys. by the way. Yep. Finally, we are dropping. Match some, my salary. That's great. We are dropping some more Gearing Up podcasts. I promise they're coming like next week on Spotify oh. and a gaggle of our other podcast hosts. Well, gaggle of other podcast mm -hmm. hosting sites, not ours, unfortunately. What we take talking about never before seen knives that are going to be featured at Blade Show, future knives of the year, and more. All right. That means it's time to pick our favorites. Yep. You're first. What? It says you get to pick your favorite first. No, it says you did. Go ahead. Right. Lead us away. Okay. Well, then first time. I knew I'm you were go going that way. That was obvious. I feel like if you didn't see that coming, come you're, on. You're not mind a mind reader. You're not a mind reader. Exactly. Yeah, you know where I'm going, right? Yeah. I'm going with the Kaiser. I know. A liar. That's a front flipper. I know. He is psyching us out right Three now. Three V. No. I think it's worth way more. Just went two I think you're going to find you out me? that it is worth way more. I like this knife. I like the style of the rich I can't believe it. But I don't fake. like it as much as this I automatic. It. I knew it was a fake out. <laughs> Jeez. You just I, got pranked. I do like it a lot. Uh-huh. I, I know you I do. I like the buck deploy. It is nice. This is a good deal, though. You should go. I can't stop. I like this one. one. I like that one. They're, they're really good. If money were no object... Get all. I'd still if pick the money we're not all, We have them all, obviously. I get. The, I even get this one. I like that one. Would I just you? wish it wasn't a slip joint. You know what happens. Maybe I could... What? Your little knife display case turns into a knife display case full with knives stacked on top. It would be... And knives over in the floor. Knife display room. And then, and then it becomes knife display house. To share with my pop display room. Oh, and wow. my extensive other displays of things. Too much collecting going on. Yep. Yeah. With that, I'm C. And this is... Sure. Just Joel, and we are signing off. <coughs> Two. One. And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. See and jewel. Just jewel. With more new knives that you can. I knew you were going to mess it up. I knew you were going to mess it up. Ready? Mm hmm. This thing is <gasps> so smooth. I mean, look at the. You can't see this at home. I wish you could. We have the Buck Auto Deploy. So glad you could be on the show, Buck Auto Deploy. Thank you for having me. I'm glad I could be here. Now, is it true that you will be on the shelves on landknife.com starting this week? Such a good question. The answer is yes. Hey there. It's the Buck Auto Deploy. You didn't even... So we're glad we could have you on the show, Buck oh. Auto Deploy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That wasn't... The the, the Buck was supposed to have the voice. You oh, okay. You were supposed to have the regular voice, like a show host. We have host. the Buck Auto Deploy. So glad to have you on the show, now you're stealing Buck my Auto Deploy Pro. Thank you for having me. Oh Let me stand up. He made his hand talk one week, so I thought I would be I'm here. I'm glad I could be here. Now, God. is it true you'll be on the shelves at AtlanticKnife.com starting this week? Such a good question. And the answer is yes. Emphatically, yes. That's great. All right. I ain't going to steal your bit. You already stole it. It's too late. <coughs> Just put them away. Just put them away.